Rocky Mountain Permaculture presents Habits. This is a pistachios tree growing in Utah at about 4,600 feet above sea level in a fairly arid climate, uh, about anywhere from 12 to 18 inches of precipitation a year. It's been grown without irrigation and it's been on this mountainside here since the 1970s. Uh, according to uh, my understanding, it was planted here by Iranian students in uh, the 1970s who are here uh, for an education at the Utah State University. And so it's been uh, here and there's several others in the area that were also planted, uh, growing quite vigorously. And as you can see from the, from the various fruit on the tree, the nuts on the tree here, quite a heavy crop this year. So this is proof that pistachios can grow in Utah without irrigation at our climate, at our elevation, and also take these very harsh winters that we sometimes get here in uh, the Cache Valley in uh, Utah. You know, due to the fact that these trees have lasted so long and have been so vigorous without irrigation, I think they make a wonderful addition to uh, dry land, cold, high altitude permaculture systems anywhere in the Rocky Mountains. Uh, and kind of excited about the possibilities of propagating these trees and including them in a food forest system. Uh, the crop's very vigorous, especially this year. And as you kind of look at the video here, you'll see it's in a natural polyculture. There's some grasses, there's sage, there are several different types of trees. There's some locust trees. There are uh, uh, some Russian olive that uh, is in the area as well. And so it's growing sort of in a natural polyculture without any irrigation whatsoever. And I think that's pretty amazing, just the fact that it's just very uh, resilient and uh, naturally just kind of goes on its own. You can kind of see the edge of the parking lot there. It's just growing right up to the edge, but there is no external water going on. It's just whatever comes in that year in the snowpack and whatever rains come. So pistachio trees in the Rocky Mountains, really kind of a nice... Uh, Nice idea and uh, hope to see some, some uh, small trees getting started via cuttings and uh, seed collection too as well. Don't touch that mouse until you watch every episode of Rocky Mountain Permaculture's Permabits. Brought to you by RockyMountainPermaculture.com.